This is an Acer 5920G laptop with a broken video card. That's the model here and when you turn it on there's a whole lot of lines that appear on the screen. So what we're going to try and do today is to bake the video card in an oven and see whether that can resurrect the laptop. So what I've done is to already remove the rear of the laptop taking the battery out and you can see just over here is where the uh, graphics card sits so the graphics card actually just plugs in here what I've done is to take it off and remove the thermal paste which covers the graphics processing unit over here and now what we're going to do is to stick it in an oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about eight minutes and we're going to see whether that fixes this graphics card. Okay now, so what we've done is to use some simple aluminium foil and uh, scrunched up a whole, whole bunch of foil to make four different stands which we're going to put the GPU on. And we've got a little oven plate here which uh, I'm going to put the stands on and then put the GPU on. Uh, just over here we've got the oven heating up as you can see it's preheating to 200 degrees Celsius so the moment of truth is here we've got the uh, GPU there on some little stands to let the heat come under the uh, the GPU we've got the oven preheated to 200 degrees Celsius now it's all ready to go and uh, just in case it all goes wrong Got myself a little fire extinguisher here, which is always handy when you're doing experiments like this. So just an update, we're, uh, we've got two minutes left of the eight minute baking cycle. And as you can see, the oven looks, looks like it's going well. Despite the oven looking foggy, it's actually relatively clear. And it's the lights inside the oven that is creating some kind of smoke effect, but it's all clear inside the oven, there's no smoke and everything looks good, so fingers crossed. Okay, so the timer is up, zero minutes and I've just switched off the oven. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the oven and we're going to let this baby just cool down by itself on its own from inside the oven. There's a bit of a smell of solder coming out, but it's not very strong. In fact, it's, it's now disappeared. Um, what we're going to do is let that cool down in there slowly before we pull it out. Okay, so the GPU has cooled down. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take the thermal paste, which is just here, uh, which is on the GPU, uh, and put it back onto the GPU right here. Um, and then we're going to reinstall the card and see how it goes. Uh, we've let it cool down for about 30, or probably about 40 minutes now, uh, and it's stone cold again, so it's all ready to go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the GPU. Um, I didn't have any thermal paste, so what I've done is to reuse what was there and put it back onto the chip, covering it in its entirety. And just a little trick, um, I've used a, a plastic bag here, I've covered my finger in that plastic bag to help spread the paste around and ensure that it's covering every little corner of the chip. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this chip, we're going to pop it back into the computer and we're going to fire it up and see how it goes. Okay, so now our moment of truth, we've got the GPU screwed back in. We've inserted the battery, we're going to press the on button here. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so we've got an Acer screen pop up. And you can see that I've loaded on Windows 7 onto this. I've already updated the BIOS, so I'm able to run Windows 7 on the Acer 5920G. And 
uh, so far it's looking positive. We've got no lines on the screen. It's in high resolution. It was previously running in 800 by 600. It looks like it's running at uh, 1280 by uh, by 800. And so there you have it. The uh, Acer 5920G is back to life after baking the graphics card in the oven for 8 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, that's approximately 380 degrees Fahrenheit and what I did was to let it cool down in the oven with the oven door open for about 30 minutes and let it cool down for a further 15 minutes outside of the oven and once it was completely cool we've reinserted the card and there we have it, all good.